Hello everyone. It's been a long time since Arcane Duels uploaded a video. I am going to try and restart Tuesdays with Puddinhead for a little while here. We are playing with new cards from the Druid and Elementalist set in here. And I am joined by Zot. Hello everybody. And we are going to hopefully have a good game here. Um, I am testing a particular thing in this book and I just want to see how it goes. So, um, here we go. Uh, I believe I won initiative, yeah? So, here we go. You ready? Yep. Um, no deploys. Or I'm going to deploy a vine because I can do that. What is that? Control V? How do you make a vine token? I, f I, to I forget everything about this game. Create vine uh, marker here. Control F1. Boom. Vine marker. Done. All right, and I'm not going to quick cast. And now I have to do something. Yep. And I'm going to cast Galleries. Mm -hmm. So anybody who doesn't know, Killer Bees is one of the new swarm creatures. Uh, you go ahead and take your turn while I'm explaining this. Uh, they are elusive, flying, and they only take one damage from attacks that are not area of effect attacks. And they do a number of strikes equal to their health plus one, basically. So they get first strike and then additional health uh, strikes equal to their remaining health. And for my final quick cast, I guess I should phase this. I'm going to play the ubiquitous bind tree and do the tree bond thing. And there we go. Double flower. I sense some bears or something. Or he's going to double creature for a few turns or something. What's your plan? What's your plan, Zot? Uh, I just uh, think a uh... I got some heavy casting cost stuff in here, so. <laughs> I I like opening double flower on a nine channeling mage, especially just having having that much mana is good. All right, see you at the end of planning. All right, guys. So my goal in this book is to basically churn out bees, right? So this is twelve mana which gives this guy nothing to do, except I'm going to try the Mana Lotus. And because it is a vine spell, and it can give me a little boost of mana so that I can deal with whatever he's throwing at me later on. Uh, it's also unique, and it is non-zone exclusive, which is the reason I have it. Uh, because I want... I have I want to have Ethereum Life Tree out to boost up the bees' attacks. I want to have Hand of Imshala out to boost the bees' attacks, or give them armor if I need to. Um, and I want to have Meridia's Blessing out so that I can keep my uh, Dorseus alive, which is actually the only thing in the entire game that can heal the swarms. Uh, so my plan is to get some bees and some Dorseus out, and then um, teleport gank some stuff and kill it that's basically the plan so uh here we go we're gonna do this all right i am done planning all right we're gonna make a vine marker i'm gonna put it over here and then my vine tree is going to cast the mana lotus Right there. Done. Yeah, it's a vine spell, and I figure it's not zone exclusive, so maybe I can utilize it. I have something cheap to do with my vine tree. You know, when I was building this book, I forgot that it was unique. Gotcha. So I'm going to have to find something else to do with my vine tree next turn. Well, you could let it build up mana. You don't have to use it every round. I don't, but why not? <laughs> are you, are you quick casting? Uh, nah, I don't need a quick cast. 
I'm going to pass. You're going to pass. Okay. Um, use my druid's action for more bees. That seems troubling. Well, I mean, I hope it's bad. But I hope it's not too bad. Because I, I really don't want these things to be broken. But we're going to try and break them. Beasts. All right. And I am going to I'm just going to float over here. This you need the butterfly if you're going to talk about floating. Yeah, I don't. I don't have the butterfly. You butterfly like is worthless. Butterfly, you float by the like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Yeah, and I. You know, I would probably. If there was a male druid in arena, I might make an Ali book or something. But right. there is the the falcon. Is it is it a pet? It is a pet. All right. It is. So that thing's going to roll four dice and have eight health. And be generally really annoying. Okay. Glad. Good talk. Right. <laughs> <laughs> End of the round. Well, thanks for having me back for the uh, restart of the uh, Tuesdays. That's awesome. Yeah, I've been meaning to start this for a while, but you know, I just wasn't psyched about building a book until. It was the holidays and stuff, too. Yeah, I had, I had stuff to do. That's true. And I'll make another vine. And, yeah, we'll put it in the middle. That looks good. Sounds fun. And I'm not going to use my tree. Um, no quick for me. Bees. Mm -hmm. Done. Pass. Can't. Oh, you're right. What do I get for playing on this little laptop? <clears throat> Not that the bees care about that. No, the bees don't. I might care about that. I'm going to move in here. Let me do my one point. Let's see if this autos. It won't. I don't think swarm has been added to the thing. All right. So then what I'll do is I will just do a manual roll of four dice. Okay. As it generates the yep. array. Generates all the dice. All right. I take one point of damage. Take that. That was a good roll. Nice. Yeah. It was a crappy roll. I did one point. <laughs> it wasn't the roll that was the problem. It was the trait. All right. Um, we're going to move in here. And I'm just going to roll four dice on your Falcon. Okay. Because it's all critical. It's okay. going to happen... 
all the time. So just to clarify the rules, the bee attacks once, and then if there's a counter strike, that happens first, and then nope. it rolls. Nope, 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 nope. That's right? not correct. Counter strike is after additional strikes. It is. Uh, wait a minute. Seriously? All right. So Two. three total damage. All right. So let me do that. You want to look it up just to be sure, right? Uh, yeah. We need to look it up. But um, then I'm gonna do this. So, add armor markers. So, Alt A. Okay. I'm just going to add the armor markers to my mage here. That's fine. Since that's what's happening. All right, another falcon has appeared. Awesome. I think uh, Beastmaster will be the um, swarms more challenging. Those in Necros, perhaps. Necromancer, Idol of Pestilence, I'm really worried about. Sure. The swarms. I mean, you just might see it included in every book now. Right. But well, we'll see. Let's see what happens. Did I not end the phase? I did. Yeah, it's going through its thing, isn't it? All right. And I get another armor token on my druid. book all right all right guys so my plan right now is to alluring orchid and life tree here i'm gonna cast the orchid with my vine tree and i'm gonna blow up this vine to do it um and that will force something to attack the orchid and then during quick cast i'm gonna place a life tree over here um, and if I need to, I will go guard it. Um, so I have four armor left after this, or no, four, four mana left after this. No, three mana left after this. Uh, and with my three mana, I'm going to, I think I'll prepare a seeking to spell. I like seeking to spell a lot. Um, I wish I could healing tree right now. I could tangle vine the beastmaster instead, maybe. I want to save up for Dorsius though, so I think I'm just gonna move twice, or I'll move in here and guard. This is gonna be my my action probably. I'll take a mark for death. I'll take a mark for death and try and get it on a Beastmaster. We'll see if I need to. Or I can nullify myself. Maybe I should nullify myself. That seems like a good plan. Nullify myself. Yeah, I'm wondering if casting three swarms right away was really the right choice. It is a lot of mana. So I'm hoping to get these guys killed and then get a Dorseus out here pretty soon. Um, but the reason I want to cast Life Tree now is because it really ramps up the amount of damage that my bees do. Um, and it will prevent this guy from dying this turn. Uh, probably. So, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, we'll go back in here. Hello, I'm ready. Yeah, I'm debating here still. All right, no deploys for you, huh? Nah. All right, I'm going to deploy a vine token right here in the zone with all the stuff, and then I'm going to use my tree to destroy it and place one of these down. Mm -hmm. What is that? Ooh, it's an alluring orchid. It's so cool. Yes, I'm hoping it's very cool. Well, it saves the bees from taking damage. See? 
You would think. Okay. I'm not going to quick cast. I am going to quick cast one of these. Is that what I think it is? Exactly. Yep. Right, so. Hmm. What is the best way to do this? And the reason that innate life works to give the bees more attacks is because innate life bypasses finite life. And the bees are living creatures because they are not non-living creatures. You're gonna fireball my tree? That'd be nice. Poor Sammer. Uh oh, look out. He's got a lot of mana. Wow, eight damage on the tree. Impressive. He's gonna do it again? No, oh, Earl Boulder. That is just enough. Isn't it? Just enough? I think so. Alright. Yeah. Did six damage to your tree. So channeling goes down and life goes down to thirty two. Thirty. Well, tree. The no, yeah, life tree. Let me go ahead and you're up to thirty eight. My tree died. What am I gonna do? You're going to catch crap yourself now. That's what I've been doing. Um, okay. Well, we're going to attack this guy for uh, six dice. Yep. Hold on. I'll just, I'll just roll it here. Did well, I, that'll uh, do it. Yep, that'll kill him. And the neat thing is uh, that uh, life tree just gave this thing plus two life, too. Yep, it did, which is why I'm a little nervous about doing that. I'm going to pass. Okay. Come in there and guard. Okay. I'm going to pass again. Okay. I'm going to attack the Beastmaster for, what is that? Uh, let me see here. It's five dice? Five, five minus, plus one, minus one. So yeah, it looks like five. For five damage. Okay. This one of these or can I attack this girl a lot? I don't want to. Did this thing regenerate? Thank God. No. Rot. Oh, but it gives me a rot, doesn't it? Yep. <laughs> it does. Is is it an auto rot? Uh I doubt it's automated. Yeah, if it's melee attacked. Okay. You get a rot no matter what. Take that, whatever it is. All right, and then you get a rot. Okay. And rot. Let's rot. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move in here. You should guard. Guard can't, with them. Can't guard. Can't guard with a swarm. You can't guard they, with the swarm. They are incapable of guarding. Mm -hmm. And done. All right. 
I'm going to make another vine token. I'm going to put that right here. And no deploys for me, sad face. I'm going to skip quick. I am too. Um, we're gonna attack your mage with this B. Alrighty. For six dice. Well, that was awesome. It, given that, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> That was awful. That was that's pretty bad. Yeah, that, I'd almost rather you re-roll it just to get a better sense of how good they can do. And if you want to do that, I'm okay with that. Um, I'm gonna move this B in here and attack you for six. That was better. Right. Let me take the one from that one and then seven from that one, right? Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to quick cast. Um, I'm going to push you into my zone. Okay. Seems bad to me. All right. Your move. Uh, I was wondering if it was going to be an AoE. It is. Um, so I was hoping it was a point blank one. Yeah. Well, I probably would have been willing to do that either. All right. So uh, I will do four dice on this B here. Okay. Four dice. Four. Two that damage. Easily two. Okay. All right. This B. Okay. Three damage. This B. And four damage. Three damage. Hey, still alive. Barely. Five damage. take three so and that's a daze on your guy yeah I'll get there not that it's gonna matter well, I guess it does okay. matter because you could kill the flower right um, and so these guys don't get stuns or anything right no they get nothing so good so even an acid ball doesn't corrode them correct Interesting. Okay, I'm going to say done. Okay. Uh, this guy's going to come in here and attack you for two dice. Two dice, two damage. All right, here's. And, uh,. Let's finish this off, because I hate it. Yeah, you did it. Congratulations. And I get a rot, or do I get a rot? Uh, get no, a rot. because that happens in the Counter-Strike step. Yeah. But you're going to die in. No, well, you're not going to die anyway. All right. And my guard goes away. Were you going to quick cast? Sorry. Not yet. Okay. I will quick cast final. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, 
Oh, your days is gone too. Oh yeah. Oh, it'll here when the thing comes back. All right. Um, I did not spend the eight mana. I don't think I did, because I didn't do the automated attack. <laughs> I almost said, oh, I, I don't think I would do that if I were you. <laughs> nice. All right. Ready to go. Any deployments? Yeah, fine. I'll put a vine right here. Yeah. Because there's not enough of those on the board. There isn't. There isn't enough. It's sad. First quick cast. I don't know if I really want to quick cast. I'm not going to quick cast. Not going to quick cast? Nah. Okay. Um. Am I going to quick cast is the question. I think. I'll wait. I will wait. You're gonna, you're gonna wait. All right. Huh? What is the way to do this? Hmm. Or this guy dies. Hold on. Did my guy die? Oh no, he didn't die. Haha. -ha. No, but he's got a life tree. Right. Here, take that. Uh, it doesn't matter. Here, I'm gonna do this. Three dice. Yep. Damage. Hey, take the point. Okay. Stay right here and do this. Oh, that ain't good. You know, the dissolve is acid base. This should protect me against that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. Oh, I did it wrong. Should have drawn from the mage. All right, here we go. Did not get the slam. Well, that sucks. Three damage. Done? Yep. Best way to do that. I think the best way to do this is to work here. <laughs> nice. Okay. And then control A. Where's the punch to go? Because it's the point to go. Man, I needed that slam so bad. Alright. And drop the seven of these out of the sky. <laughs> And drop your falcon out of this guy. And he croaks. Oh. And we'll come in here and attack you. Sure. All 
All right, end of the round. All right, another buying token over here. And we are gonna do this. Your turn. Okay. My turn. Yep. I'm going to attack you with the horsey. Of course Two damage. So oh, four damage. Wow. Good horsey. Okay, troll. Troll's some bad. All right. Um, troll would be really good against the bees, I think. Why? Oh, well, yeah, but... Because regen three, and it would take them too many turns to kill him. Maybe. But, yeah. Let's see here. Do I want to do this thing? So at this point, I wish I just had a built-in meditation amulet. You could have cast one. I could have, but that would have taken an action. Um, I think the right move is probably just to do this. Come on. Come on, Druid. What, what are you doing? There we go. Punch. One. Oh, I've only been eight rounds in this game. How can you tell me rounds have been? It says ready stage for round eight. Oh, I missed that. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's in the chat. I knew that. I don't think you should do that, Zot. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> so the bees make you play differently. Yeah. Do you think that if you had not had Hail of Stones in your book, it would have been a big problem? Um, perhaps. Uh, I think the Alluring Orchid is... A key component that uh, will make the bees much more devastating. Yeah, because um, that because... works even on zombies. Well, yeah. I mean, but... you, they can't hit flying creatures anyway. So Right. So the, the big in-school flyers are all level one or twos. Um, yeah. So the alluring orchid's going to lock them down. And so as a result, your bees are going to run roughshod. And you're already um, boosting the orchid with the life tree so that Correct. it sticks around a little bit longer. Correct. I guess this will be the way to go. 
Um, so yeah, playing around them, uh, I think if I'd have just spammed the board with flyers, that might have helped. Yeah, that might have helped. I'm not sure. I might, um, I might add a AOE spell in here of my own. Yeah, it's rare I build a book that doesn't have at least one zone attack in it. Oh, that's good. All right. So, you know, planning zone attacks doesn't really change my book. Okay. No more deploys for me. First quick cast. Sure. Okay, I wondered if you're gonna do that. Sure. Good choice. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna quick cast. What is this? Ooh, nice. That's a good one. On your mage. Sure. Four, four dice. It's piercing one, isn't it? Yep. Three damage, no bleed. Okay. I'm going to think I have to do this. Control A. Control G. Okay. I don't want to do that. Well, hang on. Let me think about this. Uh, what do you got? How much mana you got? You got a crap. 13. Mm, there's the heal. Okay. Give me something to give me in this game. That's not what you wanted. Good game, man. <laughs> I mean, after that, sure. Uh, I'm going to hit you with the uh, unicorn then. For four. Jeez. Guard. Okay. Not that you're going to hit me with it. You're going to hit me with attack spells. Yep. Bouldered. That should do it. Well, we'll see. We've seen it uh, fail before. Not this time. Blah. Blah. Eight rounds. Interesting. Huh. Yeah, so the uh, the bees, I think, will be problematic a little bit for some people. Um, yeah. Especially if you build things to take advantage of their weaknesses. I mean, the life tree is a given. Yeah, you have to life tree, I think, if you're going to use them as the main support. Mm -hmm. I was kind of surprised that force. you didn't bring out another set of them. I almost did. And then I thought, you already had 26 damage on you, so right. I'd just do the attack spell thing. Yeah, Dorseus is an interesting call because it can actually heal the bees. Yep. Yep. I think, I'm, I'm, I wonder if Dorseus is just too much mana. Because he never healed anything. Although, if you hadn't, um, if you hadn't had a force push that turn, yeah, it would have been. You'd have had a bees left. I would have had a bees left. Yeah, and it would have been kept getting better. Right. Yeah, and then this is for keeping Dorsius alive. Right. Meridius. Yeah. Then, yeah, because uh, he, he doesn't regen himself. No, he can't regen himself. Yeah, yeah, he does regen. Oh, he has his own regen, right? But this is healing. So you can erase four points of damage from a turn, or if you really want to, you can erase six points of damage from a return. That's actually... Oh, yeah, the healing is So, and that, yeah. that takes a lot of setup, and you got to stay in the same place, so that's not usual. 
All right, so that was Tuesdays with Putting Head. We played around with swarms. We saw some ways to fight them, and we saw what they can do a little bit. And uh, I'm going to do another series with swarms where I play against it um, with uh, Farkas, who is the second place Gen Con guy. Um, and we'll probably get that out next week. And uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks, Zot, for joining us. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Tuesdays with putting it. See you later. Mm -hmm.